The decade after World War I was nicknamed the Roaring Twenties. It was, by all accounts, a decade of radical change in the United States. The country underwent a significant transformation as it began to break from its traditional rural past into a more modern and urban mass culture. The children growing up in the 1920s grew up in a very different society than their parents. In 1920, the U.S. Congress passed the Volstead Act, which prohibited the production, sale, and distribution of alcohol. The act was made constitutional with the ratification of the 18th Amendment in 1920. Prohibition had been a goal of supporters of the temperance movement since the mid-1800s. However, prohibition created more problems than it solved. For one thing, it did not stop people from drinking alcohol. Saloons were replaced by illegal drinking establishments known as speakeasies. Instead of reducing crime, prohibition contributed to a higher crime rate. Without government regulation of alcohol, the industry moved to the black market and was controlled by organized crime figures who used violence to fight for dominance in the trade of illegal or bootleg alcohol. Perhaps the most well-known organized crime boss of the era was Al Capone. It is estimated that Capone's Chicago-based crime organization made as much as $100 million a year throughout the 1920s. One of the most radical changes in the 1920s took place with American women. In 1920, the 19th Amendment was ratified, guaranteeing women the right to vote. Along with a major shift in the political status of women, their social status also began a transformation. Young women broke from their traditional roles and became much more independent. That independence was embodied in how women dressed and acted. Flappers was the name given to the modern 1920s woman. Flappers dressed differently and acted differently than their mothers had. They wore short dresses and makeup. Many also cut their hair short. The significance of the flapper went beyond mere fashion. She represented a modern, independent, and confident woman. The world of art and literature also reflected changing values in American society. After World War I, a group of disillusioned artists and writers known as the Lost Generation emerged. The Lost Generation viewed modern American society as corrupt and spiritually empty. In his novel, The Great Gatsby, F. Scott Fitzgerald criticized 1920s culture as superficial and obsessed with material gain and social status. The paintings of Edward Hopper depicted scenes of modern society as lonely and isolated. Not all art in the 1920s was about loneliness and despair. African Americans began to contribute to American art and literature during what was called the Harlem Renaissance. It was the Harlem Renaissance that gave rise to a new form of music. Musicians such as Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong, and Billie Holiday introduced the world to jazz. Jazz was a massive departure from earlier music and is the basis for much of the modern music we listen to today. Black writers, including most famously Langston Hughes, Zora Neale Hurston, and Paul Robeson, contributed to American literature by confronting issues of race in their novels, plays, and poems. The Harlem Renaissance transcended the arts into politics and civil rights. Black leaders like the controversial Marcus Garvey began to stir the consciousness of African Americans when he championed the black nationalism movement and African American pride. In many ways, the beginning of the civil rights movement in the 1960s began with the artistic and social awakening of the Harlem Renaissance of the 1920s.